Hey guys, I just reached Fez, Morocco. This is the Medina. We're gonna go in. It's a labyrinth. 80,000 people live in there. There's over 9,000 streets. It's really easy to get lost, but we have a guide. And it's also a Medina that has the strongest Spanish influence, not Berber, Spanish. So you'll see it in the architecture. Let's go. This is a Muslim cemetery in Fez. Muslims, when they want to bury, they got to bury on the right side so that you have the face to the direction of Mecca. You see the tomb in here? So normally this direction of Mecca is that way. So most of the tombs, the head should be that way, the other side, and the face to the direction of you know, Mecca, which is a kind of asking blessing for the body, you know, the dead body. Now, 80,000 people, more, of, uh, more than two thirds are skillful you know, artisans. You know, specialized in difference, you know, uh, uh, in different, I mean, specialties. We're talking about the carpenters for the woodwork. We're talking about the blacksmiths. We're talking about the brasssmith. We're talking about weavers. So all the different arts are inside the Medina of Fez. Fez is the religious and cultural center. The area that I'm walking through right now is an outdoor mosque. So this whole area is filled with people for prayer and in the medina there are 220 mosques and then we are talking about the door from fez so made from cedar and in here i'm talking about cedar wood from lebanon now time to go in the medina of fez No lights in here. Oh my God. Go on a diet before you come to Morocco. <laughs> In the Medina, this isn't cake, it's cheese. There are no prices on anything, so it's all bargaining. This is camel meat. Camel meat. Mm. He's preparing the olives. Very soft, <laughs> almost like silk, but we use it for all the embroideries of our jalabas and katans. A jalaba with a pleasant hood, kaftan, no hood. Both for women with more embroideries, men with few embroideries. So if you talk about any kind of word, even the buttons are made from the agave thread. Okay? Agave plant, like tequila. This right here is the river. And this is the Medina on the outside. Silver, silver and gold, silver and gold. So much going on. This right here is the king. They don't have a queen, they just have king and princess. These are wedding chairs, tradition brought over to Morocco from the Jews. These are wedding dresses. by hand. We're walking through the Medina. There's so much going on over here. This is a dormitory for the university. 
In courtyard, in the open, as I told you, with a very small part of the center, paved with a tile, or what we call Zalish. And by the way, Zalish is originally created in Portugal, under the name of Zalajos, then from Portugal for a second to Spain, and then from Spain to Rome. This part is a mosque, and the Imam stands here, and they memorize the Quran so they can say it out loud without reading. The wood is cedar wood. Paradise. It smells so good in here. It smells like rose water, incense, cedar. <laughs> Gate one has taken over. <laughs> this is a university a and mosque. To know that is the biggest mosque in the whole city. We're going in one of the houses. been restored and repaired many times. The families in Fez give more importance to the interior of their home than to the exterior. That's why the outside does never reveal what there is inside. So each house in the Medina of Fez has five essential elements. There is marrow on the floor, mosaic on the wall, a fountain to get drinking water, plaster and the cedar wood. And all the houses in the middle of the fence are open to the sky because that is the only window that gives to the outside. Traditional buildings, no windows that give to the streets. This is to give a type of privacy for the family. And when raining, the rain falls in the middle of the courtyard. The courtyard is made with a slope to be drainage for the water of the turn out. And the building was covered because now it has been chosen as an association for presentation about different types of parties that are mainly handmade and made only by women. In Morocco, only women that make copies, no men, just women. Because they have uh, patience. <laughs> this is what they make. This is the most simple one in modern Berber Always coming in white, not on the background. Designs like these representing the tattoos that you find on the Berber women's faces. So these are the symbols of the tribes. One side more light, more vivid, the other side muted and pastel. 
This size, this, this is, is the winter standard side. side. The tradition of the house is to invite everybody for a cup of mint tea. Marcus, so good. Good. Softer and Chocolate. 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 loud outside but it's peaceful in here all right so we didn't buy a rug they were quoting us like a thousand dollars i thought they meant local currency which is the durham and that would have been a hundred dollars which is still too much but i decided to just walk away with some photos fez morocco all right we made it to the top floor look at all the cedar it's all hand carved There's no need for a drone when you got rooftops. Check out this view. This is the Medina and Fez. Fresh air, baby. Fresh air. Oh my god, we're almost missing our tour. Don't get lost. Here. It's a cell phone party. <laughs> Anybody else get lamb? the tannery now and they gave us mint because of the smell but everything is organic all the dyes this is the tannery this is where they dye the leather you can see the leather drying right here and then the men are bringing the leather into all the different vats and dyeing it Smells like pigeons because they use the pigeon droppings in the uh, process here. Birds flying. Reminds me of India. A little rough, huh? Just a little. Oh! We're out! I see the light! Walking through Fez, check out this archway behind me. It's cool. There's a mosque right there. Look at the scene right here. There's all these kids and bags and stuff. And then look at this mineral. Selfie time. We hope that you enjoyed this tour of Fez. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe because coming up next, Marrakesh.